Hi students. This is the last video of the series. I started with prime factorization. Then in next video we discuss how to find HCF and this is the third one. How to find LCM of two numbers, two or more than two numbers. First of all, let's understand the meaning of LCM. LCM stands for least common multiple. It means we have to do something with the multiples of a number because M stands for multiple here. And again, I'll explain it with the help of an example. Suppose we have a number 12. And let me write the multiples of number 12. 12 has multiples 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72 and so on. The numbers has, a number has infinite multiples. Let me take the second number and the second number here is 15. And the multiples of 15 are 15, 30, 45, 60. 75 and so on. Now here I am going, I am looking for a common multiple. Not only common, it has to be least. It means the smallest common multiple. And if you observe, uh, now is 15 a multiple of 12? No. Is 30 a multiple of 12? Again, no. Is 45 a multiple of 12? No. And 60, yes. 60 is a multiple of 12 also so 60 is a first common multiple of 12 and 15 hence LCM of 12 and 15 is 60 which is a least common multiple right and this method of finding LCM that is least common multiple is known as a listing method this is the first method listing method and now what all methods do we have in order to find LCM the first method to find LCM is a listing method which I have just just discussed and the second method is method of prime factorization listing we have already done and the left is method of prime factorization is left which I am going to discuss with you Yes, method of prime factorization in order to find LCM of given numbers. Again, we have number 12. I am going to find the prime factors of number 12, which I did. I explained in the first video of this series that is prime factorization, how to find prime factors. Now, 12. 2 is, it is an even number, so 2 is a factor of 12 and 2 multiplied by 6 is 12. The second one again it is an even number so divisible by 2, 2 multiplied by 3 will give you 6 and the last one is 3 multiplied by 1. So the prime factorization of number 12 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and let us take the second number which is 15 and we will find the prime factors of 15 in a same way. It is not an even number so hence it is not divisible by 2. It is yes I know it is divisible by 3. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 and second is again okay, 5 is another prime factor. So the prime factorization of 15 is 3 multiplied by 5. So step 1 is find, find the prime factorization of given numbers. Here the given numbers were 12 and 15. The prime factorization of 12 we, we have already calculated 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and 15 is 3 multiplied by 5 and definition says that LCM of two numbers is product of each prime factor which occur greater number of times in either of the given numbers here we are talking about each prime factor means not the common prime factor and which occur greater number of times in either of the numbers. Now let us look at all the prime factors which we have. The first one is 2, second one is 3 and 
the last one is 5 to occur two times in prime factorization of 12 and does not occur at all in the prime factorization of 15 3 occurs once in the prime factorization of 12 and once in the prime factorization of 15 5 does not occur in the prime factorization of 12 and it occur once in the prime factorization of 15 now i need all the prime factors and i will write the greater number of times so let's start with lcm will be product of prime factors so the first prime factor is 2 and maximum number of times it occurs in the prime factorization of 12 that is it occurs twice so i will multiply to two times next prime factor is 3 it occurs once in the prime factorization of 12 and once in the prime factorization of 15 so maximum number of times once only so i will write 3 only one time and 5 does not occur in the prime factorization of 12 whereas it occurs once in the prime factorization of 15 so more number of times it is so it i'll write it only once and this is the lcm of given two numbers and in most of most of the times it is taught like this you circle the common prime factors and now in order to find lcm the pair has to be written only once rest you write down all the prime factors it means the lcm will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 only once why because it is a common prime factor so i have made a group so it will be written once and then which prime factor is left 5 so this is another way of writing the lcm of given numbers and the answer in both the cases is going to be 60 yeah 6 is the answer and at higher level it is the prime factors are also expressed as powers product and powers of primes so 12 can be written as 2 square into 3 and similarly 15 can be written as 3 multiplied by 5 and the definition in this case will be the lcm is defined as product of all the prime factors raised to power their greatest exponent The first prime factor is 2 which does not occur in the prime factorization of 15 and the greatest exponent is 2. So LCM of these numbers that is 12 and 15 can also be written as 2 square multiplied by now next prime factor is 3 and the greatest exponent of 3 in both the cases it is 1 so i will write 3 to the power 1 multiplied by dot means multiply multiplied by now last prime factor is 5 it does not occur in the prime factorization of 12 and the greatest exponent of 5 is 1 so 5 raised to power 1 again if i am going to solve it the answer will be same that is 60 60 will be the answer So this is how we find LCM using method of prime factorization. So this was all about the three lecture series of prime factorization, HCF of numbers and LCM. Thank you very much and have a nice day.